Good Morning America decided to close out 2022 with a bang, specifically the banging of their anchors. In an incredible twist, however, the internet absolutely loved their chemistry, or as Vox put it in their headline, the Good Morning America anchors have made cheating scandals fun again. This is a fascinating moment to me, and at least 99% of Twitter here to discuss it. Please welcome back, Danielle, and welcome to the stage, Curtis Cook. Hello. Welcome to the show. Thanks for having me. Uh, Curtis, Danielle, are you both familiar with America's favorite cheaters, Amy Robach and TJ Holmes? Yes, I have seen the snaps and the video. I don't know anything about it. <laughs> <laughs> That's perfect. Let's play a clip that we can, that we think uh, speaks to uh, why people might be okay with this. You're the pacer, that maybe the PC. Yes. Yeah, you're the PC. Okay. So yeah. But we're gonna both be finishers, and that's what counts. <laughs> you are one. <laughs> She's clearly finishing. Yes. <laughs> I'm not mad at it. <laughs> they have chemistry. Curtis, is that what chemistry is? Uh, well, you know, as someone f born of an interracial relationship, I think it's a sin. And <laughs> uh, <laughs> okay, I did not. All right, that's a direction. Uh, say more about that. That's interesting because oh, it God. made you possible on some level. <laughs> And yet, a sin. Well, my parents were committed to each other. Uh, what's the deal here? They're not married? They were They're married. not married. They're, They're just married colleagues. to other people. They are married they to other people. They work together. Oh. They work together every, every morning. But people think it's cute to lie to someone that you've made dedicated commitments to and love? Well, actually, I think that it's, people think it's cute if the people cheating are hot. Oh! And everyone's finishing. <laughs> I think that's very important. That is. That does add a nice touch to it. <laughs> uh, Danielle, uh, Curtis's moralizing aside, uh, do you appreciate? <laughs> do you appreciate? Do you appreciate that? The, the, I don't. It's interesting, uh, right? Because they were the try guys. Uh, yeah, the try guys, and that was very. It was like they all came out and they were like, "We firmly are against." He is no longer a try guy. We had a gay Asian try guy just an all black morning. The loss of that friendship burned it to the ground. And they are hosting, they hosted on Friday. Literally the news broke like, I think on like Wednesday or Thursday. And they were hosting on Friday like, who ready for the weekend. It's like, <laughs> bitch I bet you are. <laughs> but then they got, they did get suspended. Well now Amy is, cause she's the white woman and he is, Oh no, she's back, and he's still not there. And he's still not there. That's What's what that I heard. Rule? That's what I read on Twitter. I like how I say that's what I heard, but I read it on Twitter. Uh. <laughs> right on the street. Well, what's funny too is that that um, after it broke, they did, the, and then the ABC decided to suspend them because they called it a distraction. It's like they they're not they're not doing fucking plane land. They're not they're not in traffic control with the FAA. Like they're hosting a morning show. This is interesting. Yeah, this Leave is the most there. I've cared about <laughs> Good Morning America since like Kathy and Hoda were hosting it together. <laughs> Weren't they hosting Good Morning? <laughs> no, that was today. Weren't they that like was the wine four, drunk? That was, it was the same today. That was today. They oh were over God. on today, but same deal. Th that's what <laughs> I'm saying. It's like, I don't know what morning shows are. Like, I never watch them. I'll watch um, for this. This brings us to a little game we're going to call, Which Affairs Are We Cool With? <laughs> there are no wrong answers. I like how someone said, wow. And you know what? <laughs> Daniel Get and afford. Curtis, let us begin. Marilyn Monroe and JFK allegedly. Some things to keep in mind, her happy birthday, Mr. President performance, the fact that Marilyn also allegedly had an affair with JFK's brother, RFK, and um, that's all you need. What do you think? Are we cool with this or not? Well, you know, he killed her, so <laughs> not cool with that. Not cool with that. Curtis, are you cool with the fact that JFK kills Marilyn Monroe? <sighs> wow, this is, thank you so much for asking. <laughs> this is always what I've wanted to answer on a public forum. <laughs> I would say hard no on the killing. <laughs> Probably also hard no on the affair. <laughs> okay. Oh, I lost people. People. There, people. <laughs> I'm telling you. The, what an the infidelitous only moral standard, audience. The only moral standard is hotness. That's yeah, the but only thing. He's not that him. hot on the real. Let's be real. No, but this he's is not like that hot. Nineteen, but like nineteen sixty hot. Yeah. Have you heard him speak? Wait, I don't think no. <laughs> Uh, he's nasty looking. <laughs> he also and frankly, he gets too much credit for what Lyndon B. Johnson did, That's and I think point. it's disgusting. And not enough people say it. This is my moral standpoint. <laughs> I agree. Also, also, he secretly had a lot of medical problems that were being treated with meth. 
which I learned when I uh, got drunk and pretended to know history for drunk history, and it's all I know about JFK. <laughs> He disinvited, he disinvited Sammy Davis, Davis Jr. from the White House because he wasn't cool with, like, Sammy Davis Jr.'s interracial relationship. Yeah. Wow. There's gasps like you weren't expecting that from mm -hmm. John F. Kennedy. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm confused. <laughs> you know what? The photos in black and white, they were racist. I don't know. <laughs> 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 And with that, you know what? We don't approve, all right? We are Camelot people. Next up, Elizabeth Taylor and Richard Burton, also in black and white, so. Oh, lot. but she, she inspired uh, Samantha to convert to Judaism in Sex in the City. Is that her? No, that's Charlotte. Charlotte. Yes, she named her dog Elizabeth Taylor, which, touching. <laughs> <laughs> uh Elizabeth Taylor was cheating on her husband, Eddie Fisher, who she, who, who she had met and had an affair with while he was married to Debbie Reynolds, who was at the time Elizabeth Taylor's best friend. Also, Richard Burton was married. Debbie Reynolds, the mother of Carrie Fisher. Mm -hmm. Oh. Mm -hmm. Yes, because it's messy as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Richard Burton was also married at the time. Elizabeth Taylor said in her memoir that she fell for Richard Burton on their first day of shooting Cleopatra in 1962, writing that she wanted to hug him when he blew a line due to being extremely hungover and shaking. <laughs> that was her type, okay? Alcoholic. That was her type. You don't get married seven times if your type isn't somebody with bloodshot eyes shaking from having drunk too much the night before. If that is your type, you are going to get married seven times. So what do you think? Curtis, are you okay with it or not? I'm just going to just shout out to my wife, Brennan, and say I think it's probably bad to break your vows. <laughs> Next what up, do you wow. think, unmarried person? <laughs> <laughs> Next up, Humphrey Bogart and Lauren Bacall. They met on the set of To Have and Had Not in 1943. Lauren Bacall was 19, and Humphrey Bogart was 44. This is no, I say no. This is consistently a picture Dear John, of John, <laughs> don't you think 19's too young? Mm -mm. It's always the ugliest man you've ever seen. <laughs> and Humphrey Bogart. And a woman with no options. <laughs> like, totally. Humphrey, Bo like, Humphrey Bogart to me is a classic, like... They, the male movie stars could look like fucking anyone. <laughs> they could be anyone in that era, just like a man. Like, just, you yeah. can see the powder line on his face. Like, he's a corpse. <laughs> wow, is that a hot take? That Humphrey Bogart, We're not okay not with that it. Hot? Oh, this crowd is oh. it's up in the air about <laughs> cheating, but against ageism. Next <laughs> up, Mark Antony and Cleopatra. It didn't end well, but what a ride. Their joint forces were defeated by Octavius at the Battle of Actium. So their relationship wasn't actually politically productive, but then again, whose is? I support interracial relationships. Okay, well, I've been wrong before, too, so. <laughs> <laughs> may, have been, may have died by asp. What's asp. A, what's is asp? That it's a snake that I only know because it's the asp that killed Cleopatra. Oh. It's always a clue in the crossword. Oh. Asp. <laughs> okay, I'm going to think about that. I've never done a crossword crowd before. <laughs> wild. Uh, do we are we approving or disapproving of the of the of this affair? The audience is for it. Oh. You I approve because why? Wait, I want I'm sorry, you go. No. I want to know why this is they're so old there's only drawings of them. <laughs> and, and you think that's hot? <laughs> this feels like a long con for cartoon porn. <laughs> and, and I'm against it. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Next up. All right. This is a tough one. No, before this one. No, 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 no. We're not this doing this one yet. Fine. Are, we'll do this one first. Are these Doctor Who's? For, nope. <laughs> no. These, uh, no. <laughs> these are not. <laughs> These are not Doctors Who. These are Prince Charles and Camilla Parker Bowles. Oh. <laughs> are, these, are these Doctor Who's? <laughs> no, they are close. <laughs> Here's the thing. Obviously caused a lot of problems, but they're still together, which is unbelievable. Oh. Maybe yeah, true love? Because someone's mom had to die. <laughs> Prince Harry and Prince William's mom had to die. But that's not on them. They were they were It is? They were fucking before Princess Diana throughout the marriage. And now, guess who's dead? <laughs> guess who's dead? Curtis, 
Curtis, <laughs> Curtis, question. Yeah. <laughs> Here's the ethical question for you, as someone who will give no quarter to any kind of extramarital affairs, and that is on the record for the entirety of this segment. And it's we all know it's bad. And if I ever go against my vows, you can hold me accountable. And we will. <laughs> but here's the thing. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. Obviously, uh, this is definitely tragedy adjacent, but hard to blame Camilla for the whole thing. Listen, I would really love a little background on what's going on. (laughs) So that's the old guy from the pictures recently. Yep, that's the king. And who's this? That's his wife. It's the queen. No. How does that? Okay. Because because of how it started, which was as an affair. She can't be queen. That's the whole reason why he didn't marry her and he had to marry Diana because she's like technically He was married to Diana? Yes, Yes. that is Prince Harry and Prince William's dad. I know. Thank God. Thank God, Harry. He cheated on Diana with her? You bet. Yes, I know. That's true love. That's fucked up. I don't like that very much. But she had already been married so she couldn't be queen because she couldn't divorce. Diana seemed cool. She well, was. Yeah. she walked through that landmine thing. Sure. That's the extent of my knowledge of her. <laughs> she uh, has a beanie what? baby named after her. I mean, that's very she has important. A, which kind of beanie baby? It's um, the Diana beanie baby. It's purple and it has a white rose on it. Is it animal it's a bear. shaped? Oh, it's a bear? Yeah. Cute. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you know what? We're never going to approve it. We have long memories. <laughs> Final question. Two married teachers at your school. That's it. That's all you know. They're two married teachers school. They have incredible chemistry. The drama in the teacher's lounge is, is absolutely unquenchable. What subjects do they teach? Uh, 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 she teaches math. He is, unfortunately, it's health and football coach. Mm. Sucks. This is a <laughs> weird crowd. <laughs> football coach. Worse than infidelity. <laughs> You know, I support women in STEM, so I say yes. Nice. I refuse to be educated by people who don't believe in the vows they took before oh my the law. She is like Rick Santorum joined the chat. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. Love it, believe it, it's love it, believe it.